Welcome back on this Wine Wednesday. I am here with wine expert Lori Budd, and we're taking you back in time to a region that's been cultivating wine for more than 2,000 years. We're talking about Rhone, France. Yes. And I actually looked it up how to say it online, uh, and I can't do it. I, Rhone, Rhone, I don't know. It's French. <laughs> All right, so where is the Rhone Valley? So it's actually located in southeastern France. Okay. And it's it's all along the Rhone River. So the Rhone River starts in the Alps, goes all the way down to the Mediterranean. Uh -huh. So it's 500 miles long. And for about 150 miles of that strip is the Rhone Valley. And it's a very storied and sort of historical place to, to make wine. Why is it so famous and historical? Well, it's divided into two regions. Okay. okay. So we have the north and the south. And in that south region, we have Chateauneuf de Pop. Oh, I'm not going to try that one. <laughs> and that is probably one of the most famed regions in France and in especially the Rhone Valley. In the Rhone Valley, uh, it's mostly reds. The okay. northern, oh. yeah, the northern is Syrah. Okay. And the southern Rhone is Grenache. Okay. And in Chateauneuf de Pop, there's 13 grape varieties that are allowed. Okay, talking about over here, Rhone whites over in America and California. You have some Rhone that is from California. Yes. Okay, let's pour one, and then you right. tell me what uh, what the role was of this winery bringing these grapes to California. Absolutely, so these three wines are from Tablas Creek, and what I am pouring right now is Grenache Blanc. Okay. So this wine actually never even appeared in the United States, California, uh -huh. except for Tablas Creek. Okay. They are the ones who brought over Grenache Blanc for the first, and they are responsible for really bringing over most of the Rhone varieties here. Uh, if you look at the Rhone varieties that are planted, they mostly came from Tablas Creek. This is really good. Right. I really like this. It's light. It's a little bit. Um, it's a little bit citrusy. Am I doing good? You are doing <laughs> excellent. It is a very bright, mm -hmm. acidic, right? Yeah. Nice and crisp. Good for good for summer. Good for when it's hot. Yeah. This is delicious. Okay. Let's try the next one. That's okay. the All main right. part here. So again, this is Tablas Creek. Okay. And uh, they actually are part of a partnership with an actual uh, chateau in oh. Chateauneuf de Pop. So very famous uh, Chateau de Bocasta. This one. This is Roussan. R oh my God, it's so good. It's so smooth and it's not as bright as the first one. It's so good. Absolutely. I love this, so easy to drink. I love this one, okay. Much more visceral, right? Mm -hmm. Much more fuller bodied on the palate, honeysuckle. Oh yeah. Right? For the last one, we have a, a, just about a minute here. So when you say that Tublas Creek made a relate, they cultivated this relationship with the family over in Rhone, did they bring clippings from Rhone to California? They did. <gasps> they did. I love and this. And the law only allows six grapevines oh my goodness. of each variety. So they clipped those, the, they clipped the vines, they brought them over to California, they submitted them to UC Davis to make sure there's no viruses mm -hmm. or pests or anything like that. And it takes a really long time for that to do that. In fact, they just um, barreled one barrel of it, of one that took 14 <gasps> to 15 years at UC Davis. Oh my goodness. And what is really cool is on their labels, they have this beautiful um, emblem here. And this is Regenerative Organic Certified. They are the first regenerative uh, organic certified. Is this label? Yes. Oh, okay. The first uh, regenerative uh, cert organic certified uh, winery in the world. Oh my goodness. Yes. So what does that mean? They take care of the earth, the people, everything. So they have farm animals. So instead of using fertilizers, yes. they have animals to fertilize. And, you know, they are bringing, they just had a video on Instagram where a tree fell down, uh -huh. they chopped it up, and that allows them to put carbon back into the environment. But not only just taking care of the environment, yeah. but making sure that the people that work for them are taking care of. The whole right. wine ecosystem. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing. I love, you know, because I buy my wine off the label. And now I 
I get to buy wine based off the story so I know how long it took and, and sort of the energy that went into bringing Roan to California. A great story and another great Wine Wednesday. Lori Budd, well, thank, thank you. you so much. Lunch Cheers. Yeah. Up next, how you can help save lives of those who need uh, your blood. We'll tell you more next.